Well, looks like heat race number one starting to get lined up. Once again, Jacob Wolfsleiven and Brandon Conkright, row number one. Tyler Iverson and Scott Smith, row number two, going green this time by, ladies and gentlemen, 2021 is underway. Working into one and two, your track champion, Brandon Conkright, leading the way early in this one. Wolfsleiven into the inside of Scott Smith as they work down the back stretch. Good start here to this one for the three of Ryan, Trey Dunzing. Dunzing goes up into the third spot. Here comes Iverson to the inside. Side by side for third off a of turn number four. They'll go two by two going into one and two. And now here comes Smith to the inside of Conkright momentarily. Top two cars pulled away, but we've got a great battle for third on back. Trey Dunzing, Tyler Iverson, and now Austin Small, but it's starting to get into the mix as Ryan Schwab goes around in turn two. Off of four, Brandon Conkright is your leader. Scott Smith in second as the caution flag will fly for Ryan Schwab. His first laps in a modified coming up from the Sport Compacts. Be a bit of a learning curve for him going from a front wheel drive machine to the rear wheel drive and a lot more horsepower in these A-mods. And we'll see some pretty fast lap times here in another race or two. So Conkright leading the way. A tough field right behind him. Started with seven. We got a six-pack off of four. Green flag is out here in your modifieds. And here comes Iverson on the start. Goes to the outside of Dunzing and one and two. Tyler Iverson up to third. And you see the left front of Iverson is broken apart. Maybe an A-frame broke on the 98T. Not using the left front at all. And here comes Smith off of four for the lead. Good racing up front as Brandon Conkright, your leader, but Scott Smith in second. Iverson trying to three-wheel it up in the third. Dunzing to fourth. Swoboda to rounding out your top five. Wolfslam and rounding out your order as they come off of turn number four. Conkright starting to open up about a four-car length lead. Conkright, Smith, Iverson, Dunzing, Swoboda, and Wolfslam. Swoboda all over the back bumper of the three of Dunzing as they work in a three and four. Brandon Conkright clicking off some fast laps here. Half around to two laps left to go. Or excuse me, halfway down this time by halfway down. And you see the cars continuing to struggle in one and two. Still soupy out there. Conkright. Work in the bottom side in three and four. Sweeps up to the middle lane off the corner. Still leading. Scott Smith second. Tyler Iverson third. Here comes Swoboda to make the outside line work. Going into one and two. That's the battle for fourth. And he'll pick up the fourth spot. Dunzing, who started seventh, worked to third. Loses two spots after that second restart. And now Conkright off of four. Two to go for the 24C. And now here comes Swoboda to the inside of Iverson. Once again, Iverson struggling with that left front, breaking on that restart. Still trying to hold strong against Swoboda. Now the 16 will make the pass. Off of four, the battle for the lead now. Here comes Scott Smith, the veteran. Smith takes the lead with one to go. Smith works into one and two. Your new leader will take him down the back stretch. Conkright second. Now Iverson back to the inside of Swoboda the battle for third. But off a of turn number four. How about it? Scott Smith picking up the win at Heat One. Conkright second. Iverson holds on for third. Dunzing Swoboda and Wolfslaven will round out your order. But how about it? Race fans give a big round of applause from the Davenport native Scott Smith. Tell you what, first race of the night, but boy, you couldn't ask for a better heat race there. Side-by-side -side battles all the way through. And heat one goes to Smith, and it'll be Conkright and Iverson, your top three. 12A, Aiden Stephens and Nate Thompson, row number two. Looks like Nate is a no-show. Once again, he had some technical difficulties in hot laps, so tough break for the 3T from Fremont. Kyle Oberding and Bob Zobek routing out your order. Looks like Bob Zobek will go outside row number two. So five cars going the distance here in heat two. Green flag is out. We're underway. Working through one and two. Kale Smith jumping out to the lead. Of course, his dad Scott picked up the heat race win in heat number one. 
Kale trying to do the same thing. Dan Nelson in a sharp look in 94 and second trying to run him back down. Bob Zellbeck after starting fourth, he's up to third. Kyle Oberding in. Aiden Steffens rounding out your quarter, but here comes Nelson to the inside of Smith. Side by side down the back stretch. Nelson in a three and four slide job off of four. Your new leader, the Holmesville native, Dan Nelson. Dan Nelson. It's the 50S, Kale Smith, Bob Zobeck in the 5S. Kyle Oberding drifted up a little bit. He's going to lose some ground back in that fourth spot. Zobeck starting to hunt down second place Smith. The battles for second off of four. Zobeck will go top shelf in one and two and diamond down low. Off the corner, Kale Smith still holding down that second spot. Dan Nelson up front starting to walk the dog and the rest of the field running right through the center. Smith drifts up to the cushion. Zolbeck down low off of four. Smith still too strong at the line. Halfway down this time by four down, four to go. Dan Nelson from Holmesville, Nebraska, leading them through three and four. About a straightaway lead for the 94. Kale Smith, Bob Zolbeck, Kyle Oberding, it ain't it, Steph. It's routing out your order. Dan Nelson takes him down the back stretch in a three and four. Starts up top, diamonds it to the bottom side, then drifts it back up off the corner. Tell you what, Smith had a good run in that second spot, holding off a wiry venture in Bob Zobeck. Of course, Bob's been a longtime runner in the modifieds over the years over at the Eagle Raceway. Here at the Junction Motor Speedway and the Beatrice Speedway. White flag is out one more time around for Nelson. Smith, Zolbeck, Oberding, and Steffens routing out your order. But down the back stretch in a three and four, one final time off of turn number four. Give it up for your winner, Dan Nelson. Kale Smith, Bob Zellbeck, Kyle Oberding, and Aiden Steffens will round out your order. But race fans, give it up as he comes down the back stretch and uh, off to the pit area. Give it up off of four. Dan Nelson from Holmesville, Nebraska, your winner of heat race number two. And that'll wrap up your KTMX Cool Radio IMCA Bonafide in the point standings here at JMS in 19th nationally. Travis Dickus, if you don't remember the name, he was a longtime competitor in the Malvern Bank Super Late Model Series when that division was first rolling. So excited to see what the 21T can do. Great flag is out. We are back underway. Working through one and two. It's Ben Suk up with a good run down the back stretch. He'll take the lead as well. We've got contact and cars going around. Den Duncan and Andrew Tilly getting together. Tilly ramping over the turn two berm. Nose first into the outside guardrail. Not for sure what happened to Denton there. It almost looked like he lost power off of two and Tilly was avoiding contact. And that sent him right into the back stretch wall. A few of you up here later on tonight with those. So big thank you to Brandon. So three cars in this one, Siebert, Sukup, and Dickus. Dickus wants to start this one three wide almost right there. Green flag is that, we're underway. Sukup will work through one and two, take the early advantage, Siebert to second, Dickus in third, as they work down the back stretch into three and four. Six laps in this one, heat one of two in your late model division. Suk up your leader, Siebert, Dickus right there behind him. Suk up opening about a four and a half car length advantage already on the opening lap. Dickus about a car length and a half back from Siebert. Working off a of turn number four, Suk up with the advantage. Les Siebert back in second. He finished fifth in the point standings a season ago here at GMS. Once again, Travis Dickus. Have not seen him in a late model in a number of years. Back when the SLMR series was first going back in 2008, 2009 area, he was one of the top runners on the series. So good to see the Madison runner back in 
a late model, this time in the Creighton division. Ben Suka bumping at about a half a straightaway advantage in the 0-7 as he catfishes on the bottom side through three and four. Looks like he keeps that right rear right through the center where that moisture is. You see a little bit of a streak of moisture in three and four. That's right where he's putting his right rear, and it's working. Siebert pushes up a little bit off at two. That'll open up the door for the 21 Tia Dickus. Not going away quite yet. Dickus looks to the bottom side. Your race is for second off of four. White flag is out. Travis Dickus up to second. Siebert back to third. Suk up down the back stretch. We'll take him through three and four. One final time. Give it up, race fans, for the 0-7 of Ben Sukup. He'll be your winner at Heat 1. Travis Dickus, Les Siebert will come home in third. But give it up, making the trip down from Norfolk, Nebraska, and the 0-7 get up for Ben Sukup. So set to go green this time by Jason Humphrey on the front row. Kyle Pryder to his outside. Green flag is out. We are underway. Final heat of the night. Humphrey works the top side off of turn two. He'll take the lead. Kyle Pryder holds down the four in second. Jake Kubica in third. Todd Bowler in fourth. Alex Banks rounding out your order. Jason Humphrey working through one and two. Starting to walk the dog on the rest of the field from Giltner. About a three car length advantage over Kyle Priner. Of course, Kyle Priner last year for a number of years in the Sportmon division. Picked up the championship at the Boone County Raceway a season ago in the 5K. So his first ever start in a late model. Holding down second, Jay Kubeka, fast runner in that 23 back in third. Todd Buller fourth, Alex Banks rounding out your top five. Halfway down this time by for Jason Humphrey in the 10. Jason Humphrey. Works the middle line through three and four, clicking off another lap, two to go this time by for Jason Humphrey. Kyle Priner working the bottom side. Kubica is starting to reel in the 5K for second, but does he have enough time? White flag is out for your leader, Jason Humphrey, who is looking strong here in heat number two. Humphrey, Priner, Kubica, Bowler, and Banks. That's your order. Through three and four, one final time. Picking up the win. Give it up for Jason Humphrey. Kyle Priner, Jay Kubica, Todd Bowler, and Alex Banks will round out your order. But give it up, race fans. He'll lead wire to wire in your final heat of the night. From Gilder, Nebraska in the 10, that's Jason Humphrey. Looks like it's Kyle Oberding and Trey Dunting, row number one. Austin Svoboda and Scott Smith, row number two. Ladies and gentlemen, kicking off 2021 in style with your ground pounders coming at you 18 laps. Ladies and gentlemen, let the sparks fly. It's modified showtime.
Some early shuffling down the back stretch. Kyle Oberding, the Kansas native, will take the early lead. Trey Dunsing at second. Here comes Austin Swoboda. He'll sweep up to the cushion off a turn four and grab the third spot. Tyler Iverson already up into the fourth spot in the 98T. Bob Zobuck and Brandon Conkright going side by side for fifth as the caution flag may fly. No, we stay clean and green as Jacob Schwab goes around to the infield. Austin Swoboda off a of four will take the second spot looking for the lead. Give it to the line. It's Austin Swoboda, your new leader, according to the My Race Pass. Austin Swoboda, the David City native, takes the early lead of this one. Kyle Oberding second, Trey Dunsing third, Tyler Iverson in fourth, Brandon Conkright in fifth, Bob Zelbach right in there as well. Here comes the 5S looking to the inside of the 24C. Fantastic racing from third on back. Here goes Iverson, a former track champion, moves up to the third spot in the 98T. Trey Dunzing shuffled back to the fourth spot. Bob Zobeck fifth, Conkright sixth, and now here comes Dan Nelson in the 94. Nelson looks to the inside of your defending track champion. Three car battle there for fifth and sixth. That's contact between Zobeck and Nelson. Now it'll open up the door for Conkright. Austin Swoboda has checked down in this one. Oberding collects the bottom burn. That opens up the door for Iverson. Their battle's now on for second. Iverson goes top shelf in one and two. The 98 has to get on the miners. The 75 drives up just a little bit. Oberding trying to hold on for that second spot. Iverson working the top side off of four. Not going to have enough. Oberding still with position. Iverson, Dunsing, now Dan Nelson rounding out your top five. Iverson now looks to the inside of the crossover move against Oberding. Austin Swoboda putting Jacob Schwab a lap down. So a lap car between your leaders in the battle for second is Iverson and Oberding go around. Contact between Oberding and Iverson. And both go around in three and four. And the caution flag will fly. Both drivers battling for the same real estate. And both go around. We'll see how they call this one. Boy, that was a tough break for both. What a great battle going on between the 75 and the 98T. Racing, and it's going to continue here. Still 12 laps left to go on your first feature of the night. Swoboda set to go green this time by as they come off a turn four. And the green flag is out. We are back underway here in your modified feature. Swoboda pulls about four car lengths on the start. Big move there for the David City native. Dan Nelson with a good move. He'll move up into the second spot. Dan Nelson, the hard charger early on in this one. He started mid-pack in the eighth spot. He's up to second. Trey Dunzing back to third. Brandon Conkright fourth. Bob Zobeck fifth. And here comes Tyler Iverson already picking up two cars. Both Scott and Kale Smith being passed by the 98T. And now he'll look to the inside of Bob Zobeck. Dan Nelson starting to reel in your leader. Tell you what, the 94 is looking sporty here tonight. And here comes Iverson now making the pass on Zobeck for fifth. Zobeck with a crossover move right back to his inside. Austin Swoboda, Dan Nelson, Trey Dunzing, Brandon Conkright, Tyler Iverson now up into fifth and now looking for fourth. What a run off the backstretch for the 98T. Picks off Sobek, now looks against Conkright, and he's got the spot. Here comes Iverson. Started in the back, and he's already back up to fourth and now looking for third against Trey Dunzing. But up front, your top two have pulled away still. Nine laps left to go. Austin Small, but a Dan Nelson, Trey Dunzing, Tyler Iverson, Brandon Conkright, Bob Zobeck, Scott Smith, Kyle Oberding, Kale Smith, Aiden Stephens, and Jacob Schwab. Dunzing being hounded by the 98T. Iverson now looks to the inside of Dunzing, going into three and four. Iverson going top shelf. Dunzing down low and off of four. It's Iverson now up to third. Dunzing fourth, Conkright fifth. And then we've got a gaggle of cars battling for six between Oberding, Smith, Zobeck, and Smith. Scott Smith getting around Oberding. Austin Swoboda starting to pull away just a little bit. He's got about a half a straightaway lead, but he is going to have to deal with the lap traffic of Jacob Schwab. 
Schwab works the bottom side off of two. Now Swoboda has to get on the binders for a second as Schwab went up into his lane. He'll get around him, so will Dan Nelson. Iverson will try to work the lap car as well. Everyone's starting to stretch out just a little bit. We're down to five laps left to go. 13 down, five to go for Austin Swoboda. Trey Dunzing and Brandon Conkright will get around the lap car. Now Oberty with a slide job on Scott Smith. Smith with a crossover move back to his inside. Great battle for six just outside the top five. Meanwhile, here comes Iverson. He'll strike to reel in second place, Dan Nelson. Nelson on the bottom side doesn't know the 98 T's there. Iverson with a crossover move, and he'll take the second spot away. Dan Nelson with his pocket picked as he swept up to the cushion. Iverson with a crossover move. And the 98 team trying to reel in your leader. Does he have enough time with four to go? Now three to go. Three to go this time for Swoboda. Iverson, Nelson, Dunzing, and Conkright. That is your position order. Aiden Stefan is a lap car. Two to go. Does Swoboda have to deal with the lap car? Could make this one interesting down the stretch. Looks like he will have to do so. Swoboda down the back stretch. He's got about a half a straightaway lead over Iverson. Meanwhile, Oberding almost got around Conkright, but swept up. He'll lose some spots off of that. White flag is out one more time around for Swoboda. A comfortable straightaway lead, but off to deal with the lap car. Swoboda goes around Steffens, and he'll have a lap car between him and Iverson. The winning move right there is, oh, we got one going around in four. Jacob Schwab going around, and they're going to throw the checkered anyway. The checkered is out. Austin Swoboda, your winner. Iverson second. Dan Nelson, Trey Dunsing, and Brandon Conkright rounding out your top five. Boy, Jacob Schwab going around. Great job by your leader, Austin Swoboda, of evading him. And I believe this one is official. It is an official race year winner from David City, Austin Swoboda.